Welcome to Shovelware Diggers. Our dig team is currently excavating the SoftKey Shareware 2000 Hit Games 2CD Collection. You can find a link in the video description containing the entire directory structure of this archive. It's week 97, and this is what our diggers have for us today. For more information on how to join the dig team, simply head on over to the Patreon page linked in the video description. Now without further ado, let's begin. First up, Fi Din has dug up DOS games backslash arcade 2 backslash Moria. Probably something inspired by Lord of the Rings, if I had to guess. Um, we got an edit.bat, an Moria exe, doc file, maps. Well, let's just try running it. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> I think it might be going too fast. Just guessing. Or maybe it's supposed to go like that. I mean, it almost looks like it's, um, almost looks like it's some sort of automatic dungeon crawl thing that plays itself, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. You know what? I think I am gonna go read the doc file just in case, just to figure out what this is. <laughs> okay, so here's an interesting thing. This game here is called well, first of all, it is running too fast, and I'll slow it down in a moment. But it's actually called Mini Moria, and it was made by someone who was 13 years old at the time, back in 1992. And I don't think their name is in the file, is in the um, the doc file here. I'm not seeing it, anyways. But yeah, and it was basically just um, he was inspired by the Moria dungeon crawl, so decided to make a much smaller, more simpler version. So anyways, let me slow this down, get the cycles down here. Jeez, I have the cycles turned way down and it still seems to be going stupid fast. Um, yeah, look at how fast it's going. I have the cycles turned way down. Okay, just to give you an idea of how fast this is going, I currently have DOSBox running, it, I know it looks like it's going slow right now, but DOSBox is literally set to a cycles count of one. And stuff is still happening. That's kind of unusual. Usually if you set DOSBox to a cycle count of one, nothing works, because nothing, pretty much everything needs way more than just one cycle per second, but here's where we're at. One cycle, and it's actually still doing stuff. I don't know how am I gonna how I'm gonna get the timing for this down. Okay. I literally have the cycles count set to 10. And it still feels like it's going too fast. Okay, I finally killed an enemy, jeez. Okay, so I'm not entirely certain what you're supposed to be doing here. Because the funny thing is, you can actually c pass over quite a lot of these things, these tiles. But everything seems to act in a weird way, and the top corner is sort of showing the last kind of tile you stepped on top of. And then there's a one all the way at the other side there, I have no idea what that's about. Okay, so let's see if we can do something about this one character over here. I'm trying to get it lined up right now so I can shoot a missile at this one. Doesn't seem to be working so well. There we go. Killed the one. Now there's no enemies left, and I have no idea what else to do here. Hmm. I guess I could try reading more of the instructions. Okay, so, um, reading the instructions has revealed that there is literally nothing else to this. <laughs> or more to the point, it seems like this isn't being processed properly, as though this f this might either be unfinished or some kind of weird glitch is happening. Because obviously this was, like, this full-featured maze here, and now it's not nothing. Like, I mean... These dollar signs here, you're supposed to be able to pick them up, but for some reason they're acting as solid objects. Whereas these walls, I can walk straight through them, even though I shouldn't be able to. 
And then these right here are supposed to be doors, which you can open. Like that, see? But again, it doesn't seem to be... Yeah, when I close the door, it becomes a dollar sign for some reason. So there's something, something really weird going on with this right now. And also, there's only this one map, too, so there's really not a lot to this. I guess for something made by somebody that young, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm just surprised by the fact that I had to turn the cycles count down to 10. That is so low. I am very surprised that this is actually doing anything with the cycles count so low. So yeah, Mini Moria. I don't know how this ended up getting anywhere, but... Yeah, it's a thing. It's a broken thing, but it's a thing. Next up, we have a team dig from Catdog Joe and Yarmoranta. Win games backslash unclassified backslash dog cow. I'm going to guess something to do with dogs and cows, or like I mean, it's it's in the name. It's kind of kind of the guess to go with. And we got a write file. Dog cow for Windows by Andy Wilkes. I'll never forget Dog Cow for Windows, but I'll keep trying. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to guess that these are all um, fake quotes, especially given that one's from Bill Gates. Has the look and feel suit written all over it? I don't get it. It's often said that the only reason we have Windows is to make our PCs more like a Macintosh. This may be true, but one important aspect of the Macintosh interface has still been missing from the Windows world. That's why I wrote Dog Cow for Windows. Now we can have the same power and performance as the Macintosh user across the hall. I still don't understand what he means by this. You can have as many dog cows as you have free timers. Each dog cow ha will have an in each dog cow have Okay, an individual customizable tail wag speed, which can be changed under options in the menu. And apparently, <laughs> the registration fee is $29,999, which is clearly, obviously, not it. But, okay, so what are we going to end up with here? Dog Cow 3.1. Welcome to Dog Cow, the only program so user friendly that it wags its tail. And it's already disappeared from the screen. So it's definitely running in the background. Um, is it literally just an icon of a cow that mixed with a dog? Um, options, tail wag speed. I'll make him super happy. There we go, super happy dog. Cow, dog cow. Um, okay, what about slow, <laughs> or sad? Yeah, that's, um, very, very slow tail wag. That is literally all this program does. <laughs> it's just an icon on the desktop with a wagging tail. Yet yeah, this doesn't do anything. Although I have noticed when you pick him up, he turns into a special icon with a question mark over his head. So yeah, um, technically not a failed dig, but technically also nothing to this, so I guess we're done here. And to finish things off today, Jonathan Gosselin's dug up DOS games backslash arcade backslash 21. Even though this is in the arcade folder, I'm predicting, yep, blackjack. <laughs> Although, it's only, um... 38k, whatever it is, is, it's only a com file. Okay, before I actually hit the enter key, I'm gonna guess that this might be like some kind of software that was originally distributed with like a Microsoft or IBM package or something, just predicting that. Just from the fact that it's a single com file, nothing else in here. Let's see if I'm right. Video Blackjack. Key punch software. I'm going to bet not actually. <laughs> uh, key punch software. Yeah, anybody familiar with that knows that um, key punch had a habit of rebranding other people's software to have their own name on it. Now they had permission from the authors of that software to do that, but it's still kind of still kind of weird seeing key punch's logo instead of the logo of whoever made it. So clearly someone else made this. 
Anyways, um, yes, I would like instructions. So it's a four deck, four decks for the this blackjack game, which is good to know. Um, dealer must stand on all 17s. Minimum bet is one dollar. Maximum is a thousand. How much money does a player start with? Player may split only the first two cards. Well, that's kind of lame. Player may double on first two cards or after split. Double and split bets allowed only on original bet. Even dollar bets. Even dollar bets only? Wait, 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 wait. You said the minimum bet is one dollar. Well, I guess that's technically a hundred cents, which would be an even number compared to one, a single dollar, which would be an odd number. That's kind of weird. Oh, that's interesting. The game will literally do card counting for you. <laughs> I guess to give you a better chance of success. Interesting. Please enter the amount you which you wish as a stake. Enter no less than a hundred nor more, more than fifty thousand. <laughs> Makes me wonder if there's actually a hard sixty-five five thirty-five limit. Do not enter any dollar signs or commas. Well, I'm just gonna be a rebel and put a dollar sign in then just to break everything. <laughs> well, it didn't crash, so... Okay, so looking at this starting screen here, it seems the game really didn't like my putting in the dollar sign because it made my stake 100 as opposed to 500. So, yeah. I guess it does have a default that it goes to under those circumstances. Anyways, let's bet... Ten okay. Mental note. Backspace doesn't work in this program. That is stupidly annoying. I seriously hit the backspace key and when I hit, accidentally put that hyphen in and nothing happened. Anyways, so let's see here. I have dealer showing a 4 and I have 16. I am actually going to... how do I do anything? Um, space is stand and enter is hit. Okay, so I won a dollar. Okay, let's try to put in a 10 this time without having to hit backspace. <laughs> um, don't I? Yeah, I already got blackjack. Okay, that, fair enough. <laughs> um, oh no, hey, hey oh yeah, it's, oh, never mind. Um, what do we want to bet? Well, let's keep betting 10. 9 and an ace. Well, it's technically already a 20, so... Yeah, I'm going to stand. Seven and a six. Dealer's showing a two. I'm actually going to stand. Darn it. So let's see if splitting works here. Okay, so I'll stand on that one. And hit on that one. Nope. Six and the dealer's showing a king. That's definitely a hit. Eight. Ooh. Wait, does this game does this game not have the maximum card rule? Isn't it something like if you have five cards, you automatically win or something like that? Okay, so what am I actually up to here? <laughs> um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, maybe it maxes out at seven here. Thirteen, a dealer showing an eight. I got a hit. Oh, 21. Standing for sure. Okay, so it's this is clearly some kind of blackjack game. It's not working perfectly because, first of all, you can't backspace. I put in a, if I put in a 1 there and I hit backspace, look, it just advances a character. So that doesn't help. But it is very interesting that it's including three different card counting methods at the bottom that it's tracking and then showing... Some kind of some kind of thing at the bottom. I'm not entirely certain what that's doing. I mean, it's showing. It's clearly showing the um, percentages for what kinds of cards have shown up versus how many are left. So it's kind of interesting that the game is actually doing sort of automatic. It's automatically doing the kind of thing that a pro player is going to do when they're playing blackjack. Although don't let them call, catch you counting cards when you're playing in Vegas, or they might um, they might have a little word with you, and you might end up not in the casino anymore. But in any case, this was a 
an interesting blackjack program. Again, not one, not one of the better ones in terms of playability, but definitely one of the more interesting ones in terms of the features it has.